So now the next skill is getting through a hinge door, hinged on the side. There's no, no resistance to opening there and no, no automatic closing for the door we use uh, for the wheelchair skills test. It's, we have a, a lever handle with the usual sort of height above the door. The starting position is in front of the door about half a meter away. So it's just uh, behind the green line. We don't start them off to one side, even though they're gonna end up over there if they do it correctly, but we don't want to give them hints on how to do it. The instructions are really, I'd want you to go through the door and close it behind you. And you just keep, keep nearby. So if there's any sort of excessive leaning, you'll be ready to, to help. Let's get, I don't think we'll reposition, but we'll just get you to come back to. Okay. So we would go through, of course, as the tester and to say the same thing from the other side, we want you to go through and close the door behind you. It would help if you unlocked it. <laughs> Anybody home? There we go. <laughs> Hello, anyone home? There we go. Great, thank you. So that, that would be, it's just that simple. Now for training purposes, uh, we'll sometimes, uh, there's so many different types of doors and to go out and experience a number of them mm. is a, a good thing to do in training, but something you can do in a setting like this, is just as the trainer to add a little bit of resistance to the door opening. And you'll see, get Sierra to talk through her technique as she does. Yeah, that. so the main thing that you'll notice from my starting position is I'm moving to the side. So there's enough room for the door to clear. Once the, there's resistance against the door, I have to push, I have to give resistance out of my other hand. So I'm gonna keep one hand on the door another hand on the door frame here so I don't pitch my fingers and then I can just go through. It's pretty much the same coming through in the other direction. Yeah, it's basically just keep your fingers clear. You want to, whenever we're working with folks, encourage them not to have their fingers between the door frame and the hand rooms. Um, so that is uh, often a case where you can get a pretty good pinch in there. So using flat surfaces, never reaching in between, but keeping your fingers safe um, is good. And one of the things we find is we don't like to add too much camber to the chairs to make them too wide, but one or two degrees will allow the bottom of the wheel to hit before your fingers hit. You probably noticed the chair automatically just use the slingshot technique. Can you just talk your way through that for a second? Yeah, yeah. so rather than pushing multiple times, so I open the door, I have to hold the door open and then I push, or I push with one hand and then the other hand. Instead of doing that, I'm using the environment um, instead. And so once I get my hands on the two different objects, I basically act as a slingshot and just bring myself through. Okay. okay. I'll just maybe have you add some resistance uh, and I'm just gonna do a caregiver. Sure. Approach there. So we're not, we're not spending a lot of time talking about caregiver skills here, but uh, this is one that really just kind of come to understand a little better over the last, uh, year or two, so I thought I'd share that with you now. So uh, if, the, and there's some, if there's some resistance to, to opening. So the, the trick is to just make sure you keep your body or your foot to resist the, the door closing, and then you can back your way through. So when you get through far enough, the trick then is to kind of turn the, the occupied wheelchair away from the door so that it closes behind you without hitting any any part of the of the person in the chair. Mm 